autism emerges, it's not really present at birth as we maybe once thought. In fact, um, Kanner suggested that in his earliest writings. Um, in fact, it doesn't seem that that is the case. We see many children with autism who initially look very normal and their very earliest behaviors like their eye contact with their parents, their smiling at other people, their interest in human engagement and their sort of warmth and interaction all looks very normal. But then it changes sort of gradually and insidiously over time. Um, any And that can happen any time really between birth and a little bit past the second birthday. So there's a period of about 28 or 30 months um, when autism is starting. But for some children, it will start early. And so you could see maybe a nine-month-old in the clinic, and they in fact would have some of the early red flags for autism. And then you could see many other nine-month-olds who will all turn out to have autism later who look completely normal. So. You know, I, I think at one point I'd really hope that we would be able to push the age of diagnosis back to say 18 months or 15 months or 12 months. And I think for some children we can do that, individual children with autism, um, but for as a group I don't think we will because we know that there are children whose signs of autism and, and their sort of earliest red flags are going to be after that age or are going to be just very, very subtle at that age and we won't really be able to distinguish them yet.